today we're going to go for a little bit of a drive. It's not a super hard drive. We're heading up to the Colburn State Forest. It's just out of Cessnock in New South Wales. We're going to a little lookout called Yellow Rock. It's a great little lookout, not a super hard drive, but just a bit of fun. Just turning off Wallumby Road onto Cedar Creek Road. We're going to hit the dirt soon. When you come to a river crossing and you've been driving along the road, diffs and other engine components get hot. So it's a good idea to let engine components cool down before you go into cold water. Sometimes this can cause cracks in diffs and other components on your engine as the metal cools rapidly, or water can get sucked in through diff seals and vents. But you know, where's the fun in doing that? With my niece and nephew in the car, this was a whole lot more fun. They absolutely loved it. Most of the road is accessible by two wheel drive. When you get further on, you're probably going to want something with a little bit more clearance as there are rough sections on the road. Please don't go being silly and, and churning up the track just for fun. A lot of this track is actually used by people to access their properties and either side of the road is actually private property. So don't go cutting down trees and messing it up. Somebody actually owns a lot of this land on the way out. As you can see, this is one of the sections where you may want something with a little bit more ground clearance just to get down to the end of the ridge. Not super hard four-wheel driving. I was in low range just to make it a bit easier on the bumps. The Yellow Rock Reserve is an Aboriginal cultural heritage area, so please do not deface this, take respect when walking on the rock and don't damage the area. There is no cars allowed down on the rock and there is no camping a few hundred metres back from the reserve. hard you would want a four-wheel drive I wouldn't want to bring a normal car out here we're here right here at Yellow Rock now this is a culturally significant place for Aboriginals and to my understanding they used to come and meet here on this rock different tribes would come and meet and there's actually a carving and I think this is it here it's not very good but you can see there's an eye and sort of a, a tail down there it's a bit of a kangaroo that is supposed to be carved here on this rock so we're going to go for a bit of walk and see what else we can find. So we've come up here to the top of the, the rise, the knoll, and we've been looking for the path here behind me. And since the recent bushfires, everything's just burst back into growth. We can't find the path that leads to the other Aboriginal carvings and rock paintings further down the hill. So might have to come back and look at that one at another day. It's quite humid and there is spiders absolutely everywhere. So we're thinking we're gonna head back. Well, we didn't find the carvings and the paintings out the end of the ridge. It was all overgrown. I'm not indigenous, so I don't know where they are. I think that I'm going to have to come back and find them, possibly in winter when it's a bit cooler. 
It's also a good thing that uh, we turned around and came back because we've got a big rain shower coming in that's about to drench us. So we still had fun getting out here to Yellow Rock. It's a good little day trip, I would recommend it.